Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy. How are you doing this wonderful morning? I, I hope you're doing great. Hope your week has been amazing so far. And uh, well, this morning I'm dealing with a verse in Matthew 19 26. Matthew 19 26. If so if you have your Bibles, go ahead and open it. I know sometimes you just kick back and and, and get your coffee and just kind of just sit back and listen to these short devotional. Get your Bible, get your notebook. And jump into this verse with me. It's Matthew 19, 26. I speak really fast because I, I want to keep this time short, but I want to I want to pour into you through this scripture. Check this verse out. But Jesus looked at them and said, With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So typically you look around the verse to see what's going on. But I didn't do that this morning. I just looked at this verse. And so I like taking a verse and I apply it to our lives. And, and it says, if Jesus was speaking right directly to us, well, he was probably talking to disciples or people around him. And like man, you know, man, God gives us the possibilities, right? He's the God of possibilities, you know? One of my favorite thing is nothing, everything is possible with God, right? It, very literally, he give, he's all powerful, he's all knowing, he, he literally gives us abilities to uh, uh, do the things that need to happen. And, and man ha has limitations, we have limitations. I, there's only so much I can do, but everything is possible with God, I'm telling you. I know that with my own life, when I have gone thing, gone through stuff, let me just say stuff, and, and God has gotten me through, uh, the Bible says if I need wisdom, I can ask for wisdom. If I, uh, I need comfort, he's, he's a great comforter. If, if I need peace, he's the peace giver. There, literally, in scripture, it describes the very aspect of all that he is to us and how he works through us. Too many times we, we trust in, in the ideas of man, right? Um, we get in our books. I, I mean, I, I have books all around my desk. I read, I, I try to read it quite a bit. I have a Kindle app on my phone and I'm reading all, all these good books, right? And I'm thinking, yeah, these are good books. But when it comes down to really seeking out wisdom, I'm going to the word of God in my prayer time. Because I know God, with God, all things are possible. Because I'm going to seek him for direction. I'm going to seek him for guidance. It's almost like, Sometimes man's ideas are that, I don't know if you remember the, the back in the day, there was these sea monkeys you could buy. They came in a little pack and you pour it in water and they would swim around for a little bit and then they die. It's almost that sea, sometimes man's ideas are these sea monkey ideas that will last for a moment and then die. Not all of them, but most of them, they're not going to last forever where the Lord is forever. So I just want to encourage you today, as you as you get in this day, that it, with man, this is impossible. Not saying, hey, that man's ideas are just stinky, but throw God in the mix as, the, as checking it out, right? Saying, God, is this what you want me to do? Is this, is this in your will for my life? And make sure you ha have that peace with the decisions that you're making. I know Carrie and I, we we will go shopping and we'll pray, Lord, is this is this what you want for us? Is this what you're guiding us to do? And, and sometimes we like, yeah, sometimes we've made mistakes in that. So just want to encourage you today in that. So get out your notebook. Or if you already got it out, write this out, verse out, Matthew 19, 26 in the ESV. But Jesus looked at them and said, with 
Man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26, write that verse out, put an O, observe it, A, apply it to your life, P, pray. If you have a prayer request, put it in the comment area below. If you're watching this on Spotify or YouTube, do the same thing. So let's pray. Lord, thank you so much. Thank you, that Lord, that you're in control of all things. Thank you, Lord, that we just we just love you so much. And Lord, we just ask that you just uh, move by your mighty hand today. Lord, we ask that if there's anyone that's sick, that Lord, that you heal them. If for those that are well, that you keep them well. I pray for our government that, Lord, that you give them wisdom on the decisions that they're making. I pray for the economy that you turn it around. I pray for those that are in need that, Lord, that you provide for them. I do pray that, Lord, that you just uh, um, uh, give us opportunity to be a blessing to somebody today. I do pray that, Lord, that you just uh, give us an opportunity to share the gospel today with somebody in your name. Amen. Hey, have a blessed day. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow morning. And uh, have a great day. Love you guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.